Christina Perry and her family are in mourning following a difficult loss. The A Thousand Years singer, who was expecting a baby girl and in her third trimester, shared the sad news that she suffered pregnancy loss. She and her husband, Paul Costable, wrote in joint Instagram messages, Last night, we lost our baby girl. She was born silent after fighting so hard to make it to our world. She is at peace now and will live forever in our hearts. Paul also added, It's been a rough couple weeks, and we're so grateful for the outpouring of love and prayers from you all. News of the stillbirth comes two weeks after Christina shared with fans that she had been hospitalized. She wrote in part in an Instagram stories post at the time, Baby is having an issue, so I'm going to be here till it's time for baby to come out, which might have to be very soon, which is very early. Please send some love from your heart to the little heart beating in me, that we all make it through this. I'm grateful for doctors and nurses and we'll do whatever they suggest we do. Then last week, Christina shared another update, saying that her baby-to-be had a birth defect called jejunal atresia and that she would need surgery right after the birth. This is sadly the second time this year that Christina has experienced a loss. Back in January, she revealed that she'd had a miscarriage at 11 weeks. She wrote at the time, We are shocked and completely heartbroken. We were only one week away from sharing the news, so I feel like it's also important to share this news too. I want to continue to help change the story and stigma around miscarriage, secrecy, and shame. I am so sad, but not ashamed. I am ever reminded how amazing and powerful women are at making life and at healing. To all the mothers who have been here and who will be here, I see you and I love you. I am so sad but not discouraged. When the time feels right, we will try again. But today, we mourn our little life lost. Christina and Paul are already parents to two-year-old daughter Carmela Stanley, who will turn three in January.